medical spas need to create a luxurious and welcoming environment. This means that your business infrastructure needs to be clear and consistent. If your daily med spa operations do not run smoothly or on time, then your staff simply cannot give your clients the expected med spa experience they paid for. So before hiring your team or restructuring your team, it is important to create the right standard operating procedures and customer service protocols for your med spa patients. Whether hiring or restructuring your current med spa team, it's important to do your homework and create the right standard operating procedures and customer service protocols to deliver the med spa experience that your clients expect. So how do you put together the right med spa team for your practice? In order to create the right team, you need to look at how many hours you're gonna be open, how many team members are required, and most importantly, how to create the standard operating procedures as well as customer journey experiences that you want your clients to receive. So here's an example. Are you trying to be the Walmart in your area where you're making a lot of money, but you're doing a lot of procedures? So that's kind of a quantity Groupon approach where it's a volume discounting approach? Or are you trying to be a high-end Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom experience, or somewhere in the middle, like a Target experience? You need to know what your position is in the marketplace so you can define the right level of customer service that your patients will expect. As a consumer, we know that we expect to be treated differently in different types of businesses. What I'm trying to communicate here is you can train for skill, but you cannot change someone's personality. So if you're trying to create a luxury experience with a high touch customer service environment, you need to be recruiting people from like businesses or businesses like Nordstrom's or the Ritz, people that have had training of how to deliver that high end experience. What I find is that we often hire people and then have them cross trained into all of our positions and we're unhappy when they don't fit the bill for the new position they're in. It's important that you look at your environment, what you're trying to achieve, and that you put the right right person in the right job, capitalizing on their super powers, their super suits. What are they really good at? Do they love people? Then we put them at the front desk. If they don't, maybe they are working behind the scenes in surgery or even as a surgery scrub. It's important to know whether your people are extroverted or introverted and where to place them in your practice. Many times I'm asked, how many professionals do I need to hire to start a med spa? It really depends on how many rooms you have open, what services you're providing. Typically, I would say every practice needs a receptionist, a spa manager, an injector, and an experienced laser technologist in order to run their practice effectively. How can you expedite your learning? It is important to join memberships like different trade shows for education, as well as picking the right sorts of consultants and vendors to take you to the next level. For instance, I've been on faculty for the Aesthetic Show and Am Spa for years. Both of them offer so much valuable information if you're just getting started in this industry. In order to create the perfect med spa team, you need to hire professionals who will not only complement the environment you are trying to provide to your clients, but are certified in their field and are motivated to continue to learn and grow because after all, this industry is always evolving and changing. One last bit of advice is make clear position descriptions. It's so important that every staff member knows exactly what they're responsible for and what they're being measured on in terms of success. 